You may think that this is the most clickbait title ever, but millions of you are about to have your net worth increased by $20,000 overnight, and I want to make sure that your name is on that list. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, the US Supreme Court just denied an appeal to stop President Biden's student loan forgiveness program, meaning it looks like this is now actually going to happen. Obviously, this was initially announced all the way back in August of this year, and I'm recording this at the end of October, but when it was first announced, we didn't know when it would be happening, if it would be happening, what the application process would look like, and of course, there were many individuals who were unsure whether or not the president could actually spend hundreds of billions of dollars with the stroke of a pen. But it now looks like I can confidently say the answer is yes. Now, I fully realize that this is an incredibly opinionated topic, so I would like to know your thoughts on this down in the comment section, but all I want to talk about in today's video is how we can make sure that you are getting as much forgiveness as possible to help you reach those financial goals a little bit faster. And just so you know where I stand, I wouldn't qualify for this relief anyways, and as I talked about in this video, my wife and I already paid off our $60,000 of student loan debt, so I'm getting nothing out of this, this isn't a biased opinion, but regardless of how you feel about it, I will say from the start that this is happening whether you agree with it or not, and the application I'm about to show you is completely optional, so if you disagree with this in some ethical or moral way, then that is totally fine. You can go ahead and just stick with that, and I love that for you. But also, as someone who's not getting anything out of this, I'm also really happy for you if this is going to help you out a lot and help take a huge weight off of your shoulders that may have been bogging you down for a really long time. All right, but my opinions aside, how can you get as much relief as possible based on the most up-to-date information? Well, the boring old news that you probably already know about is that this plan will cancel $10,000 in federal student loan debt for individuals earning $125,000 per year or less, or married couples who make $250,000 per year or less. And remember that this is federal student loans, so private student loans do not qualify. Now, if you were a Pell Grant recipient, then you could receive up to $20,000 of debt forgiveness with the same income limits. And those limits are based on either your 2020 or your 2021 one tax return. So if you got a huge raise or started making a ton of extra money in 2021, but you were under the threshold in 2020, then you can still qualify for this loan forgiveness even if your income is now over that threshold. One other thing I think is important to mention, especially if you are fresh out of college, is if you are still claimed as a dependent by a parent or guardian, for example, then your eligibility is going to be based on their income. So unfortunately, if you were claimed as a dependent and mom and dad, for example, are making a ton of money, then you're probably not going to be eligible, so just keep that in mind. Also, they've made it very clear on the application that I'm going to show you next that submitting false information will subject you to penalties, including fines and or imprisonment and the education department is going to cross-check the information that you submit with the federal records from the IRS. So I know it is a huge gut punch, but if you are over those income thresholds even a little bit, then just don't bother submitting the application because you're just gonna get yourself into more of a mess and also lying is bad. All right, but the title today is click here to earn $20,000. So where do you actually get this money? Well, just earlier this week, the White House launched the debt relief application, which I will link to down below if you do want to go ahead and apply. But if you head over to that link, you'll find a very basic page that lays out the information that we just went through. And you'll also find a very simple form where you're gonna input basic things like your name, your social security number, your birthday, and of course, certify that your income is is under the thresholds that we just went through, and then you'll go ahead and click submit, and it's now just time to wait. Now, it's unclear how long this process will take, and that's where things can get a little bit tricky, which we'll talk about next, but what I will say from the start is if you know that you are eligible, and you've decided morally that you want to take this debt relief, then you'll wanna go ahead and apply as soon as possible, because if you've ever submitted any kind of governmental form or application, then you probably know that they aren't exactly known for their 
efficiency. But the issue is that federal student loan payments and therefore interest rates are set to restart in January of 2023, which is only a few months away. Meaning you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're waiting for your debt to be forgiven, but now your interest rate kicks in, but you don't want to pay that off because it may be about to be forgiven, and you can see how that can very quickly create a messy situation. Now, one other thing that I have not yet mentioned is if you have paid off your federal student loans since the forbearance started in 2020, then you are eligible to get a refund for those payments and therefore would be eligible for debt forgiveness as long as you meet the other requirements. And that applies whether you've paid off the entire loan balance or just started paying off that balance. So if you started with say $15,000 in federal student debt and you've paid down $10,000 of that over the past two years, then that means that right now you'd only be looking at $5,000 of forgiveness. But if you want to get the full $10,000, then you can request a refund for those payments that you've made over the past few years and therefore receive that full $10,000 of forgiveness. Now again, that one is going to be very opinionated and going back into debt when you've worked so hard to get out of debt just so that you can then fall over on the government for forgiveness is definitely a gray area with a lot of people. So you'll want to think about that one very carefully, especially if you've already paid off your loans in full and that balance has been completely wiped out. But I'm never going to fault someone for trying to better themselves and their financial situation. And again, this is happening whether you agree with it or not. So even if that means swallowing your pride, if this is really going to help your financial situation, then it may be irresponsible not to take advantage of it. Now, you do have until December 31st of 2023 to go ahead and fill out that form. But again, if you do know you're eligible and you want to take advantage of it, then I'd say just go ahead and get that taken care of. All right, the last thing I will say before you go ahead and apply and get that money is if you are having an immense weight lifted off of your shoulders from this forgiveness, then beyond having that debt forgiven, the biggest benefit that you were going to get out of this is that taste of freedom and financial peace that you may have not felt in a very long time. My point being, if you take this debt relief and get $10,000, then cool, your net worth just increased by $10,000 in a matter of minutes. But if you're also able to remember that feeling of being bogged down by this debt and the impact that it has had on your life, then that is likely a lesson that will keep you from going into unnecessary debt in the future. And trust me, that is a lesson that will net you a lot more than $10,000 in the long term. But I'm sure there's still a lot of people that are gonna go ahead and get this debt forgiveness and then go and finance a brand new car. And if that's you, then as I always say, it's your money, it's your life, you do what you want. But I'd love to know what you think of this student loan forgiveness program down in the comment section. And I'll also leave a link to SoFi's student loan refinancing program, which I think is giving out some free money right now if you refinance with them. So with interest rates going up rapidly and that debt relief now taken care of, you might wanna take a look at consolidating your remaining student loans before the interest rates get ridiculously high. But as always, thank you for your time, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.